Good morning, everyone. Welcome to day four. Now, today we're going to talk about boundaries. Boundaries are one of the things that I really geek out about. I love them because they are the best friend to expectations. They also are the thing that helps us create and protect the space we need to perform at our best. And often we forget that. We look at boundaries as if there's some kind of negative barrier in our life. Or if boundaries are, oh, I gotta put a boundary because this person's been misbehaving so much. And actually, a lot of times in adult misbehaving, it's the fact that somebody didn't know that it bothered you. Or they didn't know that they would have been expected to do anything differently. And those boundaries have been pushed because maybe they weren't verbalized or maybe they weren't clear or maybe we didn't invite them to be part of the discussion or maybe we only said it that one time and we then started letting that boundary slip and we started giving behavioral permission to whatever their behavior was that we're now considering misbehaving. So we have to be really careful about what it is that we expect people to just inherently know. And a lot of times that they're more successful when we actually call out those boundaries. When we say, you know, this is really important to me that maybe we don't spend so much time or that I don't get phone calls after 5.30 or that, you know, I need a little space to process. So I need you to send that information ahead of time. And then I need you to give me the space to read it and process it before you ask for an answer or a decision to be made about it. Now, I know boundaries can be a little uncomfortable at first, but the more you practice making them clear and concise and inviting other people to be part of that understanding of the boundary, the easier it gets. And the more it just feels like setting up really respectful guardrails. Now, we want those guardrails because they help us have better relationships with our clients, with our coworkers, friends, family. And they also help us show up and do better quality work. As well, if we're give, as, when we give really clear boundaries to our team members or our peers on a project, they're able to really succeed in what that's supposed to look like. It also creates deeper engagement. If we're not worried about that we're pushing certain boundaries or that we're overstepping and we know what our focus is and where our lane is, we can get more engaged and thorough in what we're doing and show up at our best. So you're actually using boundaries to set other people up for success. Think about it, if you've ever taken a kid to a park, a lot of the times on the walk to the park, you might tell them, Great, we're gonna be really safe. Remember, no going on the really, really big slide. If the other kids are kind of pushing, you remove yourself. Um, we're gonna go and we're gonna have a really good time. We're setting the expectation for them and we're including that best friend of boundaries. If there are kids bigger than you on the playground, you give them some space. Things like that that help us set what is the behavior you want to see, right? So not that I'm saying talk to your coworkers like children, but think about it as how would I explain this situation to somebody else and how do I make it really simple to understand and straightforward? I don't have to tiptoe around things all the time. So your exercise for today is what boundaries do you need in order to show up at your best self? That means at work, at home, maybe it's when you walk in the house, you need a few minutes to decompress. Or when you sign offline from working at home, you need a few minutes to decompress before you're ready to talk to someone else. Or when you first log on to work, you need the first 30 minutes to really read through emails and feel on top of things and caught up. And then your second question is, how could a held boundary actually provide more security to a peer or a team member? Do you have a team member or peer who asks you a lot of clarifying questions constantly? They might need clearer expectations and boundaries together. There might be one of those things missing. Maybe you're part of a conversation with them about really clear expectations, but then the boundaries haven't been part of the discussion. 
think about how it might make them feel safer and help them show up better in their work too. Looking forward to talking to you tomorrow.